Hello, hello, Estrella. How are you today, Estrella? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Que me iba conectando. Yes, I know. How are you today? I, I been mm -hmm. very good. Uh, I am uh, working. Ah, you are working. Yes, I am working here in university. Too. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's something new. You are working right now? Perdón? You are working right now? No. No. No, no. Ah. no. In my house. In your home? Sí. Ah. Uh, okay. Sí. Uh -huh. Solo yo he entrado, teacher. Yes, and now we have <laughs> Veronica also, right? And we have also Marlene. Okay, yeah. but thank you so much, Estrella. Hi, Marlene. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. Fine. Okay, awesome. Nice to have you right here. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Veronica Jamilet. Hello. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you today, Veronica? Good or not? Bad. Good. Good. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you for being here. Hi, Sarai. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Full of I'm energy? Fine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Thank you for being right here. So it's already time, right? So let me share my screen because today we have a lot of activities, right? And I hope that we can do all of them. Okay, so look at it uh, one more time. Thanks for being right here and welcome to the class, right? Today we are going to start with yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no questions. Remember guys that for today, you have to finish section number four in the platform, okay? So with this activity, with this part, sorry, with this video, you are going to be able to finish that part. So right now I'm going to play that video. Please pay, <laughs> Please pay attention to it because um, that will explain a little bit of grammar about just no questions in simple past. For sure that the teacher is going to explain that in a deeper way later, okay? But for now, pay attention to it, please. And in case you have questions or doubts, Please let me know. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, so there you go with the first part of this video explanation, right? So, 
Let's start step by step. Look at the first thing that we have right here. A yes, no question, right? This one that you could see right here. So in the first place, the first thing that we have is the auxiliary did, okay? So we are going to start with that auxiliary. Then we are going to have the subject, in this case is you, plus the verb in the natural form, okay? It means in the present, okay? In the present. And then for sure that you can have the complement. Now, for answer yes, no questions, you only have two options, right? You have the positive and the negative. And in this case, we have a positive answer. So we have to say, yes, I did, in a short answer. But if I want to have a long answer, I can say, yes, I did. I had a great summer. Ah, in this case, since the sentence is positive, I need the verb in the past, okay? Now, let's see one sentence in negative answer, right? One answer in negative. So we have a long way and a short way. In the first one, we can say, no, I didn't, right? The question is, did you play volleyball? As you could see, we have the auxiliary did, the subject and the verb in the natural form. The answer could be, no, I didn't. Short answer, but if I want a long answer, you can tell me. No, I didn't. And then I played tennis, right? I played tennis. Ah, in this case, look at it. Positive answer in this one, right? Positive in this one. I played. So it means that I need the verb in the past. And this part, no, right? I didn't. Short answer. Okay? So now let's see this part. Did Erica like her vacation? Estrella, what are the possible answers that I can have in this one? Do you know? I'll repeat, please, teacher. Okay, for sure. In this question, did Erica like her vacation? What are the two answers that I can have? Lo voy a pronunciar. Oh, no. huh. Okay, I will say it in Spanish. En esta pregunta, did Erica like her vacation? ¿Cuáles son las dos posibles respuestas que yo puedo tener? Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Eh, eh, yes. Exactly. Yes, she did. Y uh -huh. ahí está una. Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Exactly. Eh, también, no, eh, sería no, I didn't. No. No, I didn't. Ajá. No, no I she, she didn't. <laughs> exactly. No, she didn't, right? No, she didn't. Eh, eh, she liked it. Eh, ¿Cómo decir? ¿Cómo we, decir otra cosa? No sé. Okay, we can say she didn't like it. Ajá. Okay, but excellent. The two answers are yes, she did, and no, she didn't. Excellent. In the second one, this will be for Veronica. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? What are the possible answers that we have for this question, Veronica? Mm, sería, uh, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Uh -huh. okay. um, si sería afirmativa, sería... Yes, uh, she didn't. Ajá, en positiva sería yes. Este she... es el sujeto. Uh, no sería she. Ajá, no, porque estamos en esta pregunta. Um, ok. Entonces sería she, they, they, then. Ok, ok. One more time. The first one is this one, right? Ajá, no. sería... Ahí sería Ajá. no, they, they, then. They didn't, exactly. And in the positive, Veronica? Um, yes, um, they didn't. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Let me see if that is correct. So sorry for my letter, right? They didn't or they did? They did. Exactly. 
they did, Veronica. Thank you so much. It will be they did. Because if we say they didn't, that is negative, right? So guys, these are the possible answers that we can have. So let's continue watching the video because uh, the guy will explain, will continue explaining this part. So pay attention to it, please. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did. Or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively. Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your... Okay, so that was it. Any question about this topic, guys? Yes, no questions in simple past or not? Uh-huh. Any question about it? Yes. No questions. No questions. Thank you so much. Okay. So, since there are no more questions, look at the chat, right? Look at the chat. As you could see, I have four sentences. I will continue writing, but please start creating yes, no questions according to the sentence. I will give you an example. The first one, Alejandro took the ball. Yes, no question. It will be, did Alejandro take the ball? Okay. There you go with an example. I will repeat it. Did Alejandro take the ball? Okay. So I will continue and I will send six sentences. Okay. So please go ahead and start working on that. I will give you exactly six minutes to do so, okay? One minute per sentence, and that will be it, okay? So your time is start now. Sure. Yes, tell me. Eh, de esas cuatro eh, afirmaciones, vamos a hacer cuatro oraciones usando el did, ¿verdad? Yes, I will send six. Six, yes. Okay? Gracias. Okay. You're welcome.
Okay, there you go with the six questions, okay? So please start make six questions, six sentences, and you will create six questions, okay? So go ahead. Okay, you're missing four more minutes, four minutes, okay? If you finish before, tell me, okay? Finish, teacher. Finish, Estrella? Finish. Wow, okay, a mí me está fallando el internet. Okay, Marta, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Okay, Estrella. So can you tell me one and two, please? Uh, dear Alejandro, takes the ball. One more time, please. Dear Alejandro, take the ball. Exactly, take the ball. Uh -huh. ball, ball, ball. Dear Alonso, play the guitar. Excellent. Just one little detail, straight, okay? To make it perfect, remember that in English we have intonation. Teacher. Ajá. No sé que no quise buscar ayuda en la última de Guillermo, pero ¿verdad que Bro está hablando de comprar, verdad? Ah, uh, uh, no. <risa> está hablando, ¿saben el verbo o no? O les ayudo. ¿Cuál es el presente simple de brought? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿De brought? Es que no lo quise buscar, no lo sabía, pero no, o sea, solo traté de recordar nada más. Sí, no, pero... excelente, Estrella. The present of that verb will be bring. Bring. Yes, bring. Traer. Mm. Okay. Gracias. Okay. There you go. You're welcome. Se parece al de, al de buy. Solo que el de buy no lleva R. El de buy solo sería bot. Okay. Excellent, Australia. Good job. What about you, Sarai? Did you finish? Um, creo que sí. You think that, yes. Okay, can you tell me number three, please? Sería, did Alejandro take the ball? Uh -huh. Did Alonso play the guitar? Uh -huh. did, did Marta speak English? Excellent, excellent. The same recommendation to Estrella, right? Remember that English has a rhythm. So if we are having a question, we need to make it like a question, okay? So it will be, did Alejandro took the ball? Okay. Did Alonso play the guitar? Okay. Just like a little recommendation. But that was so great. Thank you so much. What about you, Marlene? Can you give me number four? Okay, teacher. Yes. Did Gary try to give a solution excellent good intonation thank you so much what about number five rosa elba hello teacher hello uh, did carlos clean the house amazing thank you so much rosa elba what about number six veronica okay teacher uh, uh, six sería, vea. Yes. Um, did Guillermo brought a cake? Mm -hmm. Did Guillermo brought a cake? 
Ajá, recordemos que en este caso el verbo tiene que ir en presente. ¿Cuál es el presente de brought, Verónica? Do you remember? Bring, bring, exactly. Bring. bring. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría la oración? Uh, okay. Um, did, uh, did Guillermo bring a cake? Uh -huh. Did, okay. One more time, please. Did Guillermo bring a cake? Excellent. Good pronunciation and good intonation. Thank you so much. Okay, great. So I think that we don't have questions about it, right? So now look at what I have right here. A scramble questions. A scramble revueltas, right? So look at it. What we are going to do is the following. We are going to put in the correct order every single word to create a good yes, no question, okay? To create a good yes, no question. For that, easy peasy for you, right? Two minutes is enough, okay? So go ahead. Two minutes are running. So go ahead, please. This is something easy, right? You just have to follow the formula. Okay, one more minute. One more minute. Did you finish already or not? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Rosalba. One more minute. One more minute. Okay. Just on time because look at the, at the clock. Two minutes almost. Okay. So I will give you one more minute. Go ahead, please. All right, time is up. Did you finish now? Yes. yes Excellent. Thank you so much. So let's start. Let's see. Do I have a volunteer for number one or not? Teacher. Yeah. Ah. Fíjese que esa práctica la hice hoy en la, en la plataforma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y este, yo, yo sentía que las hacía bien, pero... No sé, me salían mal porque la hice así, vaya, por ejemplo, se la voy a decir como la hice. Okay, go ahead, please. Y, o sea, yo sentía que estaba bien, pero en la plataforma, al final la dejé así, ya no la terminé porque no me salía bien. Eh, la hice eh, como... 
Did you uh, watch television? Watch, watch television uh, last night. Like this? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. we are missing right here the question mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So did I you have that in the platform? Este, fíjese que la de es solo esa, creo que me salió buena, y las demás no me salió buenas y las dejé así, así, esa no la terminé, pero eh, la otra la hice con, did you uh -huh. have dinner or night? Y sí le ponía el signo, pero siempre oh. me salían mal. Va, entonces si quiere, quédese al final de la clase y lo resolvemos. Vale, okay. vale. excelente. Thank you so much, Estrella. So let me see, do I have a volunteer for number two? Yo, teacher. Yes, tell me, go ahead, please. Did you have dinner last night? Excellent. Did you have dinner last night? Excellent, thank you so much. Now, do I have a volunteer for number three or not? Who says me? Me, teacher. Excellent, Marlene. Go ahead, please. Three. Yes. Right. Three. Did you go to the world yesterday? Uh -huh. Did you go? To work yesterday? Excellent. Yesterday. I ask you because you said to the work, right? Okay. Yes, sorry. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, do I have a volunteer for the last one? Seria did they uh -huh. go, go to the movies Wednesday? Excellent. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Wednesday. When is hold on Wednesday in that way? Yes, excellent. Una pregunta, chicos. Ya hicieron esto en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Rosa Elba tuvo problemas o no? Eh, no, fíjese que me dio problema una, pero porque no le había puesto el signo. Ah, ok. Pero lo contesta. Ok, thank you so much. Entonces, si alguien más tiene problema con eso. Este, se quedan al final de la clase porque lo vamos a resolver con estrella, ¿ok? En caso de que ustedes tengan problemas, si no, no pasa nada, ¿ok? So now, let's continue with this part. Now we are going to learn a little bit of vocabulary, ¿ok? So pay attention to it because we are going to fill the blanks, right? Basically, that will be the, the vocabulary that we have for today, like an advice. Today, we're going to have a dictation practice, okay? So be ready for that. I enjoy the dictation practice, okay? So pay attention to this part, and later we go to the dictation practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these. All right. There you go with some new vocabulary, right? We have the verbs go. Have, meet, play, see, and take. Uh, is it here any new verb for you or not? Do you know all the verbs that we have right here? In this part? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, in this part, with the new vocabulary, do you see any new word that you don't know? Any new word that you don't know? Hiking? Aha, uh -huh, this one. It will be hiking. 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 Is... Exactly. 
Hiking is a sport. ¿Ok? Donde ocupamos, van a las montañas y ocupan como, como unos martillos, he visto yo. No son martillos, pero parecen martillos porque tienen una puntita así y van... Escalar. Exactly. In that way. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other new word, guys? Or not? No new words. Okay, so since there are no more words, new words, let's begin having and matching, right? The verbs with the new words. So in this case, have, what we can have? Can we have, uh, for example, a movie? Uh huh. No, right. We cannot have a movie. So, mm -hmm. what is the verb that we need right there? Have what? What we can have? Can we have a class, for example? Mm -hmm. Can we have a class? Oh, yeah. A class. Exactly. We can have a class. Oops. What else? We have two options for that. We can have a class. And what else? A picnic. A picnic, exactly. We can have a class and we can also have a picnic. Mm -hmm. We can also have what else? Have fun, for example? Yes, right? Yeah. So so we can say meeting in Spanish. Divertirse. Okay. Divertirse will be. Okay. What about the verb meet? Mm -hmm. Meet new people? Exactly. Meet new people. What is the other one? Meet new people and what else? All friends? Exactly. No. Meet all, all friends. friends. Excellent. Oops. Uh, let me see. New people, all friends. What about play? Easy, right? Play what? Play volleyball. Tennis. Exactly. Easy, right? Play volleyball and tennis. Great. The other one that we have right here, C. We can see what? A movie. Movies. What else? A, a picture. A picture. Oh, pictures. Exactly. Movies and pictures. And the last yeah. one. Yes? See, play. A play. A play, exactly. We were missing that. We can see a play. Okay? A play. What is a play? Un juego, right? También lo podemos decir de otra manera. Match. Un partido. Okay? Match. I can see a match. For example, Alianza versus FAS, right? That is a match. Okay? Now, the last one that we have, take. What we can have with the verb take? We can reuse, okay? Take what? Mm -hmm. Pictures. They take a picture. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Take pictures. And only that? Only take pictures? Aha, uh -huh. what is the other one that we can have right there? Take pictures. Only that one, right? Because the other one makes no sense. Okay. Oops, give me a second. Excellent. So excellent, that was an excellent job. I think that we have no problem with the pronunciation and the meaning of these words. So right now, look at it. My favorite part of the class. We are going to have a detection practice, okay? So please bring your notebook, bring a pencil or a pen, and I will start, okay? Give me a second, I will look for the picture. So let me see. This is going to be about the past, okay? 
think this will be about the past. Okay, I have it right here. So, mm -hmm. are you ready? With the, the paper? I, Marlene, no, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. The paper and the pen. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Lisandro. ¿Qué tal? Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Ready. Excellent. Okay, so let's start. ¿Qué no, qué no va a dictar, teacher? Palabras. A paragraph. A paragraph. In simple past. Okay? Mm -hmm. Paragraph in simple past. So, when I say coma, it means a coma in Spanish, right? When I say period, it means punto. Okay? So, there you go. So, let's begin. I will repeat the word two times. Let's start. On 4th November, coma. On 4th November, coma. I arrived in Chicago late in the evening. <laughs> repeat, teacher, please. Okay, I will repeat. Okay, I will listen one more time. On 4th November, comma, I arrived, I arrived, in Chicago, late in the evening. In Chicago, late in the evening, period. I wanted, I wanted to photograph to photograph Barack Obama and his family I wanted to photograph Barack Obama and his family coma but when I got there, comma, but when I got there, comma. Perdón, teacher, when I got there. When I got there, I got there, comma. I discovered I discovered I will say it one more time I discovered that I didn't have my ID that I didn't have my ID, period. We're about to finish, okay? I walked, I walked around the park I walked around the park outside the center. Outside the center. The park. The park outside the center. Period. Period. At the end, 
comma, at the end, I took the photo to Barack Obama. At the end, comma, I took the photo to Barack Obama. Period. Final period. And we finish right there. Okay? Teacher. Yes? Teacher, teacher. Ya que lo escribimos todo. I will read it one more time. Sería, ajá, de, de leerlo todo para reírnos de los errores y, y ver los aciertos. Exacto. Ahorita lo voy a leer este, y ustedes me van a mandar la foto cuando yo termine de leer. ¿Ok? Permítame, teacher, permítame. Vale. Permítame. Voy a leerlo, ¿ok? Todo junto. Hoy no voy a hacer Pero unos grandes manchones le vamos a mandar. Don't worry. <ríe> ¿Ok? So, it will be on November, on 4th November, I arrived in Chicago late in the evening. I wanted to photograph Barack Obama and his family. But when I got there, I discovered that I didn't have my ID. I walked around the park outside the center. At the end, I took the photo to Barack Obama. Okay, so there you go. That was the dictation practice. <laughs> Easy, right? Easy, a piece of cake for you. So now you will have only one minute to send me the picture. You can send the picture in the group or in a DM, okay? Only one minute, okay? One minute and that's it. Go ahead, please. I will wait for the picture. Okay, 10 seconds and we are done. Thank you, Lisandro. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bernardino. Teacher, su WhatsApp, lo yes. please. Yes, a WhatsApp, al privado, o si quieren en el grupo, no hay problema. Okay, so let's begin. Let's start. I will be checking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start. Debería de enviarnos. El paragraph. Correcto. Ajá, Lisandro. ¿Cómo es, lo, ¿Cómo es lo correcto? ¿Cómo es lo correcto? Recuerden que nos equivocamos porque yo escuché bien diferente. ¿Saben qué? Que quizás es... Mejor se lo voy a escribir justo ahorita para que vayan revisando. ¿Ok? It will be on 4th, I said November, coma, I arrived, ajá, I arrived, de llegar, right? I arrived. In Chicago. Late in the evening. And then I said, period. I wanted, right? The past of the verb want. I wanted to photograph Barack Obama and his family. Period. Ah, no, no, period. Coma. 
But when I got, you see, got the past of the verb get. When I got there, comma, I discovered, discovered, descubrí, right? It will be discovered that I didn't have my ID, okay? Period. At the end, comma, I took, I say I took the photo, right? Let me see. Let me see to be sure. Let me see. Me falta una parte, tissue. Ah, really? I walk it ah, around. Yes, exactly. I the teacher, right? Hmm? Yes, that teacher. Okay. When Después I... the ID. Exactly. Let me see. My ID. Yes, you are totally right. I teacher, I teacher. I teacher, right? Oh, my God. Then <laughs> we are going to have I walked. Walked. The walk, the caminar. Okay. I walked around the park. I walk around the park outside the center. Period. At the end, I took the photo to Barack Obama. Okay. There you go, right? That was the paragraph. Really easy for you, right? Let me share algunas palabras, sí, pero otras nada que ver. Me estoy riendo con eso. Okay, let me see. ¿Quién es esta persona? Saraí. Wow, Saraí. Qué bonita letra. Oh. Thank you, pero me equivoqué casi en todo. <laughs> pero qué bonita letra. Ok. So, look at it. Quieren verla, teacher. ¿Quieren verla? ¿Se las enseño, Saraí? ¿Me da permiso? No. No, teacher. No, no quiso, ni modo, no puedo, no puedo mostrarla. Ok, entonces, yo creo que se equivocaron en este pedacito, en este fue el primero, arrived, 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 esto es llegué, ok, llegué, yo creo que también en esta se fueron, right, photograph, photograph. Fotografía. Discover también. What? Bueno, yo. Fíjese Discover. que algunas palabras, o sea, sí, yo, bueno, me acordaba, más o menos entendía, pero no me acuerdo, se olvidan cómo se escriben exactamente. Uh -huh. Exactly. Y hay otras que sí las escribí, tal cual las escuché porque no sabía qué. <risa> yes, I know. Por eso es que estamos haciendo dictado, para que no se nos olvide cómo escribir en inglés. Ok. So no problem. No hay problema si cometieron errores. Así vamos a ir mejorando los dictados. ¿Ok? No problem about it. So, I wanted to photograph Barack Obama and his family. And then we have got. El pasado del verb. Let me see. The verb get. ¿Ok? And then this one. Le vi la cara cuando dije esta palabra. Discovered. You were like, right? What was that? Discovered. Descubrí, me di cuenta. Ok. Puede significar esas dos cosas. Descubrí o me di cuenta. Ok. That I didn't have my ID. Esta tenemos I didn't have porque es negativa, right? Es negativa. And then I walked. Ayer les estaba diciendo que este verbo no lo vamos a decir walt, walt, no. La L en este verbo es muda. Entonces, por eso decimos walked, ¿ok? 
around the park, outside the center. Esta palabra podemos decirla de dos maneras. Puede decirse center o center. Center o center. ¿Ok? At the end, I took the photo to Barack Obama. And that was it. ¿Ok? So, good job. You did an amazing job. I could see the pictures. And thank you so much for that. Okay, so now look at it. We have nine minutes. So it means that we are going to have an oral practice. We are going to talk in simple past. Okay, I have a roulette right here for you. I will spin the roulette and I will choose one volunteer for sure in case I don't have volunteer. So let me see the first volunteer. Do I have a volunteer or do I have to choose? You just Marlene. Ah, thank you so much, Marlene. So let's see. Let's spin. No, no, Marlene. You didn't want. <laughs> okay, Marlene, but you are my volunteer. Okay. Look at the question. Where did you go for your last vacation? Aha, Marlene, good question. Where did you go for your last vacation? I went to the beach. Oh, to the beach. It will be to the beach. Beach. Yes, beach. <laughs> because the beach. other one, it means another thing, right? Yes, it will be. Vamos a diferenciar. Voy a enseñar para que... Pues sí. Ok, it will be playa, sería beach. Beach. And, y la otra palabra sería beach. Le ponemos una T. Beach. Ok, entonces so sería beach okay. and beach. So there you go with the different. Ok, beach. Thank you so much, Marlene. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Now, let's see another volunteer, Rosa Elba. Thank you. Rosa Elba, this is for you. Aha, Rosa Elba, who cooked last night's dinner for you? Aha, Rosa Elba, tell us. I, I cooked. No. Um, Miriam. I cooked a meal. The dinner in this case. Uh -huh. The dinner in this. Okay. I cooked in... a dinner. Uh -huh. Last night. Last night. Okay, one more time. All together, Rosa Elba. Todo junto. ¿Cómo sería, Rosa Elba? I cooked, cooked? the okay. meal last night. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. My next volunteer, it's going to be Estrella. Okay, Estrella, this is for you. You are a star, right? Okay, this is the question. When was the last time you went to a movie theater and what did you see? Long question, right? Picture. Uh -huh. was... Uh... When was the last time you went to a movie theater, theater, and what yeah. did you see? ¿Entiende la pregunta? Sí, sí está diciendo que, que más tarde puedo ver una un, voy a como que voy a ver una película en el teatro. Mm -hmm. Ok, one thing, almost. ¿Cuándo uh -huh. fue? La última vez que usted uh, fue a ver una película. ¿Y cuál fue la película? Ah, ok. Ok. I was, eh, the, I was the watch a movie on my beard died if in 24 September. 
Okay, yes. Okay, so it will be in this in this way. We can say yeah. the last time I went and then you continue. Okay? Okay. Porque the last time significa la última vez. Ah, okay. okay. The last time the last time time I went on September 2024 on the year, right? Okay, excellent. And what did you see, Estrella? Say, um, 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 you don't remember. Eh, me, no me recuerdo el nombre exacto. Pero era romántica, teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Estrella. That was good. Okay. Now, my next volunteer, it's going to be Bernardino. Let's see what we have for Bernardino. Okay, Bernardino. When was the last time you went to a party? Oh, it's a good question. Exactly. <laughs> I want to know the answer. Um, the last time that I went to go to the party is around. The last time? I, okay, hold on. The, One more time. When I go the last time to a Remember party. That this is simple past. What is the past of go? When? Exactly. So it will be the last time I I went go to a party. Uh uh. No, I Give went. Me go. You, I you went asked go. me when was no. the last time you went to a party? Exactly. That was the question. So the answer will be the last time I went single go. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Go ahead, please. Let's start again. The, la the last time. I went a party uh, around, uh, wow. It's in, it's in March of this year. Of this year. Okay. That's a long time, right? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Bernardino. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing that. Now, my next volunteer, I know that Lisandro wants to participate. I can see in his face, right? Yes. What was the last sport you played? Uh, the last sport play football. Was football. Was football. Excellent. Thank you so much. Then we have uh, Sarai, and we finish with Veronica. Okay. So, Sarai, this is for you. Ah, it's something easy for you, right? Look at it, Sarai. Lucky Sarai, right? Were you good at math? Sarai? ¿Qué es math teacher? Matemáticas. ¿Cómo sería? Sería. I. I could. Mm. I was. Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. I do. I was. 
is good or bad? It's a good. Okay. It's a good thing. <laughs> uh -huh. So the complete sentence, are I? I was uh, good at math. Excellent. Excellent, sorry. Thank you so much. Now, we finish with Veronica, right? And that will be it because of the time. Now, Veronica, this is your question. Let's see. Aha! Who is your best friend? And when did you meet him or her? Aha, Veronica. And la primera pregunta dice... ¿Cómo es su mejor amigo, verdad? ¿Quién? Eh, las, um, ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? It will be. ¿Quién es? Uh, ok. Um, la describo como el nombre, como es. Exactly. Only the, nom the, no the number. The name, sorry. Ah, uh, ok. Eh, sería... Uh, she she has the in the name. She is um the phone. Aha, ahorita el nombre, solo el nombre, only uh -huh. the name. She uh she is the phone. ¿Cuál es el nombre de su mejor amiga? Uh, Merlin. Ok, so it will be My best friend is Merlin. My best, uh, my best friend uh, Merlin. Is Merlin. Ok, and we have another question. When did you meet her? ¿Cuándo la vio por última vez? The last time. Ah. Como... ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, bueno, iba a decir ayer, pero mejor digo la fecha, vea. It would be good. The last time. The last, the last time. time I met her was. Y me da la fecha. ¿Ok? Uh, ok. The, line, the last time. The last time I met. I was. Uh -huh. I see. The last time I met her was uh, Cuando? For 14. 14th. Okay. Thank you so much. Excellent. So guys, I think that that will be all for today's class. Thank you so much for being right here. I really appreciate it. Remember, tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Tomorrow is our free day. Okay? So no classes for tomorrow. Okay? So bye-bye. That was it. Thank you so much. Remember, section number four. Okay? And bye, Estrella. teacher. No se vaya, Estrella, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Sí, aquí está.